Hello, I'm Barrett Crowther, a clinical pharmacy specialist with UC Health. In this video, we'll walk you through the role one immunosuppressant drug, tacrolimus, plays in transplant. One of the biggest concerns post-transplant is the body rejecting the transplanted organ. Rejection is caused by the body's immune system. To prevent this, you will need to take multiple immunosuppressant medications that inhibit your immune system for the rest of your life. Tacrolimus might be one of those medications. Tacrolimus works by weakening your immune system and preventing rejection after transplant. There are three different forms of tacrolimus. One is immediate release, and the other two forms are extended release. The amount of tacrolimus you'll take is determined by drug levels that are checked by your doctor on lab or clinic days. Always make sure to take tacrolimus after your blood is drawn. Some side effects of immunosuppressant medications include increased risk of infection and certain cancers. Possible side effects of tacrolimus include tremor or shakiness, increased blood sugar, vivid dreams, headaches, high blood pressure, increased cholesterol, and hair loss. Tacrolimus can interact with other medications, so you'll need to make sure your transplant team is aware of all your medications, including prescription and over-the-counter. It may also interact with grapefruit and grapefruit-containing products, CBD and THC, so it's best to avoid these products. Please remember that taking your medications correctly and consistently is one of the most important things you can do to help prevent rejection. As always, we're here to answer any questions you may have. To learn more, visit uchealth.org transplant.